Hello, fellow Cancerians. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there who haven't had a birthday yet. Happy birthday to all of those Cancers who have had a birthday yet. I don't remember if I said that in the last video or the monthly video because I believe the monthly video, I think I was cut off of the Cancer line. And then when I recorded it, I forgot. So if I did, I apologize. I am a Cancer myself. My birthday's coming July 21st, cusp of Leo. So... I'm sorry, though, if I missed that on either of the videos, but happy birthday to all the Cancers, whether you've had a birthday or it's still coming, okay? We are, welcome to anyone who's new, first of all. Welcome to Deep Soul Channel. My name is Kelly. Welcome back if you're returning in my tribe. What's up, my tribe? What's going on? What's going on? Thank you for being a part of the tribe and supporting me. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, I highly recommend it. I encourage you to subscribe and join the chat and hit the bell icon button for notifications. And on that note, please give me a thumbs up and comment, too. I would love to hear from you. All right, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Come follow me there because I'll be going live on Instagram very soon. Probably next week sometime. Doing a general energy read and a live stream. If I can, with my phone because my phone is being testy about. I want to see if it works on Instagram. Maybe I should test it out before. Uh, maybe I'll do that before I actually do a reading. Just kind of hang and see who joins and see if it works. Okay, we're going to do your love energy. So this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to be doing uh, love readings between the 15th and the 31st of 2020, so the second half of July. This is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you, so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate, check the other placements in your chart. Sometimes those resonate more, particularly Venus. Even if it does resonate, check the other placements in your chart. Sometimes you can get extra information, particularly your Venus. <laughs> all right, here we go, Cancer. Do keep in mind that energy is energies are fluid. So time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. So some of this may have already happened to you. Some of they. Ooh, I'm gonna look at that cat. I'm gonna I'm gonna reshuffle. Four of Swords. Cause that kind of fell out on its own. I want to see if it comes out again. But Four of Swords. Are you kind of retreating into your shell right now? Is there something going on? Um, so, so I'm going to say some of this that comes up in the reading may be happening now. Maybe none of this has happened yet. Okay. I don't want to shuffle too much because I don't want to waste time shuffling, but I do want to make sure it gets in there somewhere. So it's not like sitting on the top or the bottom. Okay. If it comes out again, we'll know. We will know, right? Bottom of the deck. General energies. See what we got going, Cancer. Well, King of Wands. Now, our signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Indicative of Leo, the lion. Um, you could be a cancer cusp of Leo, however, like myself. In the 20th out there, July 21st. I don't know what happened to, um, I forget his name. Well, I know his name was I Am Carl, but he used to comment in the beginning and he disappeared. Are you still out there, I Am Carl? Hello, if you're still there. Hello to any of my other twinsies, but do let me know down below. Whoa, I'm getting a little wild here. King of Wands, though. The King of Wands, no-nonsense kind of guy. Not nonsense kind of energy, not a guy. These are not gender specific. It's a masculine energy. A no nonsense type of king. That's the energy. Um, very powerful, very much a free spirit, does his own thing, doesn't let anyone influence him any different. What he wants, he wants, and that's that's how it goes. Okay? Very uh, adventurous, very can be very bold like the lion. Um, you know, fiery energy, whatever you think fiery energy might be. That's the king of wands. Here we go, Cancers. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment card. Hmm. Coupled with. Mmm. 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 Look at that, Cancer. See how sometimes spirit will pull those cards out? Because this is what's going on. You're spending a lot of time in your shell right now. And I think. At this point, you're thinking about the love that you would like to have. Maybe you're thinking about a particular fire sign. Maybe you like fire energy in people. Maybe you want somebody who's going to take control and be adventurous and just wild, rebellious, whatever the case may be. It's very interesting. It's like you're, you're almost content to be alone right now. But at the same time, you're wishing for some sort of pot of gold. Cancer. We may have to talk in a minute. Let's see your person. Ten of Wands. Five of Cups. So your person 
whether you know this person or not yet, Cancer, you maybe you haven't met this person yet. If you have met somebody, again, could very well be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That could be your energy, though. You could have fire in your chart like I do. I have an Aries moon. I'm on the cusp of Leo, and I have Leo, Mercury, and Leo, Venus. So, just saying. Your person has been carrying this burden of being in some sort of, they are mother effing bored and in a stalemate, and they're just wondering if they're ever going to find love again. They really are. They are bored. This whole COVID-19 thing may be part of it, being locked away, but just carrying this excess, maybe emotional baggage, and just very apathetic. They have some emotional baggage that they haven't dealt with yet. They need to get rid of that. We will clarify. Your connection between the two of you. Eight of Swords, Mental Prison, Four of Pentacles. Well, let me just tell you. There's a lot of stubborn energy here. There's a lot of... <laughs> You're alone. They're alone over here carrying this burden and just thinking, what the F, man? My life. F my life. You know, F love and F my life. And you're over here thinking, why? Why do I always have to? I have these hopes and dreams but I don't want to put myself out there because life just sucks. Kind of low vibration energy for both of you here. So maybe this is saying you need to step up here. You need to, to find that passion and that spark again. Because somebody or both of you are caught in your... You're, I think you're caught in your heads about this whole situation. Guarding your heart. Being a little greedy. Stubborn. There's a lot going on here that's not good. Kansas. My last reading. A little low on the likes and the views here, Cancer. We got to boost that up. Because I really wanted to do Cancer in the beginning. And I'm like, damn it. Oh, the last one. I have to do it last. All right. So this is moving forward, though. Page of Wands. And the Seven of Pentacles. All right. All righty. So here's what the deal is. And we'll get to this in a minute. The other card is on the, the other cat is on the bottom of the deck. You're all dealing with your own individual crap right now. I, I'm thinking maybe you two haven't even met. You're Because you're both just isolated from the world. Yes, I know COVID's happening, but it's it's more than that for me. I've, I've cut off. I take to make space on my phone. I took off Facebook. I'm not really doing a whole lot of social media except for Instagram for Deep Soul Tarot. But otherwise, I'm not too much on social media. And I'm thinking both of you may just be, you know, not engaging a whole lot. You don't have to be physically together to engage with people. You gotta, you're, you're powerful. You've got to take control of your kingdom. You both are in charge of your own lives and how you perceive things in your life. And if you're both caught in your head, overthinking crap, your own mental prison, both stubborn as fuck, which I can't put, I'd love to put stubborn as, as a title. But guess what? Guess what? That's over here. This is moving forward. It's time to set free. Set your spirit free. Okay? You can still be in your own little bubble, but just find the passion again. This is a new beginning. Adventure, passion, fun, free spirit, um, um, rebellious, if you will. Rebel against this negative energy. Whoever's, whatever, whoever's putting in this negative energy, this low vibration. Okay, this is your season, Cancer. This is our season. My my birthday's coming out. I don't even want to celebrate, to be honest with you. A lot of crap's going on in my life. But you know what? You got the Seven of Pentacles. You have to invest in something that's going to make you feel fulfilled. And that will help you grow. Something creative. I'm hearing something creative. This channel helps me a lot. And when I'm not able to do it, I really... I can get pretty depressed. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. We're in the fields. Oh, Cancer, look at this. Holy mother frickin' moly. We're going to pull all this out. In uh, internal battles. There's the Leo card again. The sun. Internal battles. Not even seeing the sun. I'm hearing that you felt burnt by something. The moon, caught in emotion. You are drowning in emotions and overthinking everything. It's dragging you down and you're in the dark. And it's just so dark. You're not seeing things clearly. You're not seeing things clearly, Cancer. I could talk about your person too, but this is your reading. Okay, we're talking about you right now. Okay? Myself included. I'm here. I'm not going to deny it. 
this can be emotional fulfillment in any way, but we're talking about love right now. So if you want emotional fulfillment and you want this, you want this happiness, your cup's filled, you need to you need to move forward. You need to get on your little horse and ride. Okay? Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> here you are, Cancer, the cherry guy. This is this is Cancer here. Cancer underneath here. Leo. <laughs> um Cancer. I don't know what to say right now. We're going to leave these little three calves over here because I think they're important, okay? you got those internal battles going on. It's not something that you can't overcome, though. All right? Let's clarify. Let's see what we got going here, Cancer. Nine of Cups, Four of Swords for my beautiful Cancer. My little crabbies, crab cakes. Mm -hmm. Well, look. I got the sun under here, right? Remember I showed you that? Okay. Got the sun again. Spirit's telling you that you may be, you got the sun and the moon. What's happening in your life can be like night and day, all right? You can be illuminated. Maybe you aren't yet, maybe you're not ready, but you will be illuminated. You got you to gotta find the positive, though. You really got to find the positive. That's what the Nine of Cups is. You can be alone and think of the positive. You can manifest this, all right? You got to look for the rainbow if you want to find the pot of gold. You gotta look for the rainbow if you want to find the pot of gold. That's what I'm hearing. You got the sun here twice. When cards come out, twice in a reading, different decks, of course. I mean, yeah, different decks. These are the main important energies. Stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. No. No, I don't want it. I'm gonna hold on to my heart. I'm gonna hold on to this energy. Mm -mm. And look, four of swords, four of swords. And the same, clarifying the same thing. Cancers! Yes, I know. I'll have to watch this back. Oh, shit. Look at this. There's the Four of Swords. Let's think. Let's stop and think. Take some time to meditate, my beautiful Cancers. I will do the same because this is this is going to resonate for me. I'll go back and watch this. Um, your heart broken. Something has broken your heart. Your heart isn't healed. But this is like a timeout. Take a little mini timeout. A little pause, if you will. A little power nap. You know, to quiet your mind. You know, not think about all the emotions that are flooding, you know, you... You know, and then you can find your truth, your clarity, and then you can grab that sword and say, you know what, F this, I want a new beginning. I want a damn new beginning. I know my truth. I know my worth. I have my clarity. Look for the positive. Let go. Let go of the negative. Okay? Okay, my beautiful cancers. You can find that light in the darkness if you put your mind to it. Ten of wands. I'm going to say ten of wheels. Ten of wands and five of cups. Your person, whomever that may be. Maybe another Cancer. Who knows? <laughs> cancer Leo. You got two kids. You got two kids. They need to find their truth, too. They need to find some balance. You two are a lot alike. I'll tell you that much. Right now, here now, you two are a lot alike. Um, three of cups. So it could be another water sign. I don't know. But even if it isn't, if it's a fire sign, they may have water in their chart. Who knows? Three of Cups. This is the mind, body, and spirit. They need to balance out their... They need to balance this out. There's the balance, the justice, their truth. They need to balance whatever they're thinking and whatever they're feeling so they can feel their own cup. Their own... And feel, feel food for the soul, if you will. Jeez. Jeez. Nine of Swords. Um... They want to be able to get out of this negative energy and forge forward no matter what. No matter what. They, no matter what storms are coming. But here's the thing about the Knight of Swords. I don't think this person's thinking clearly. So I don't think they're ready for any type of relationship or love connection, so to speak. You may know this person already, but they may need some time to think about things. You know? All right, Cancer. Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Let's see your connection. Mental prison, stubbornness, not a good place to be. But you know, it's all about perspective. Don't let that moon fool you. You know, with the dark comes the light. It's not always going to be dark. You know, take the time to think about it. Get your truth. Find your truth. All right, come on now. Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Here we go. Two of Pentacles. 
Well, mental prison. When I, I usually will see the difference between the two cards, the two to the whatever. But this is two to the four, which means it's another two of pentacles. You both are going back and forth. You know what I mean? See, there's the rainbow, okay? Here's the rain cloud. You know, clouds may come, storms may come, but with the rain, whether it's tears, maybe you're crying your eyes out. That's fine, get it out. But, mm, I hope that's the first one. That was the first one, right, Cancer? Okay, I think I'm doing good on time here. But I won't really doubt. I'll get straight to the point here. That with the rain comes a lot of growth. So, you know, there are always lessons no matter what we go through, Cancer. Oh, damn it, I don't want to take my own damn advice. Fuck this. <laughs> Because I've been a Debbie Downer, and I'm still in that kind of, mm. but really, seriously, and I could take my own advice, or spirit's advice, it's not mine, it's I'm just giving you the message, it's spirit. See how this person has this pentacle? This may be just the thoughts, but find the positive. Look at the pentacle that's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. And no matter, see this, this pentacle came flying out from that cloud. Whatever darkness, whatever cloud you're in, there's a rainbow there. You may not be able to see it yet. You're still stuck in the fields. You know, we just had a full moon, you know, and we're still in that emotional, um, I think we're still in that emotional period. So, you know, be gentle on yourself here, but you're in, the, you're, you will be illuminated. You know, you'll find, you got to find your truth so you can see clearly. All right. Look for the rainbow. In order to find your pot of gold, you got to look for the rainbow. I'm just saying. Oh, don't you flip me off now, Cancer. Come on now. We're on the same team. <laughs> you may be saying, fine, fine. Fight's over. I'm done. I won. No. <laughs> no. There's still some hurt. There's still some stuff you, stuff you got to work through. The five, however, is about challenges and change. This is going to be a huge challenge for both of you. But we're talking to you, Cancer. Your person has to do their own work, too, and deal with this, too. But we're talking to you right now, okay? Myself and Spirit's talking to us, saying that you, you need to find that rainbow. You need to look for the rainbow to find the pot of gold. The battle's not over, you know? But with challenges, it comes change, and this is going to be a good thing. You feel the loss, maybe, right now? But guess what? Full card on the bottom. you got to take a leap of faith. Go out. Dance, sing, you can be in your own little bubble. Say, F the world, F everybody. I'm just going to do whatever I effing want. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to say, mm -hmm. okay, now, okay, I, I can see what I want to plant and where I can grow. And you have to nurture it. You have to nurture that energy. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not easy. I never said it was. Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, please. Moving forward. Then we get an Oracle card. Okay, Cancers? Yeah, you can flip me off all you want. I get it. You can do one of those little. You know, crab claws. <laughs> if you. And I don't know what you have in your chart. So, you know, depending on what you have in your chart. Maybe you're not in the fields as much as some of us. As other. Um, those came out. I'm just going to leave it the way it came out. Guess what? Guess what? There's the ten of wands again. Wait. Well, maybe that was a different reading. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, no. No, your person had the ten of wands. So, moving forward. Guess what? You're worrying about this. You're stressing over this. You're having anxiety, sleepless nights, insomnia, bad dreams. Yes, 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 yes. All of the above. Okay. Well, this for me. I don't know about y'all. It's time to let that burden go, Cancer. It's time to put these wands down. You've been carrying the burden too long, too. Time to put the wands down. Put those damn... I'm checking the time here, my dears. Put those damn wands down. You've been carrying it too long. And, uh, you know, if you're anything like me, your damn back probably hurts like a mother effer. You know, just just let it go. Let it all go. Do your thing. And enjoy. Enjoy life. And when you, you look for that rainbow, you'll find that pot of gold. And that would, could include love. That will include love. And it's going to happen pretty fast. I'm just saying. See that? Queen of Swords. This has come out in almost every single reading. Especially today. Um, the Queen of Swords. Oh, my. Okay. Queen of Swords cutting something out and usually I, I the queen of swords is kind of like well, I can call her the ice queen it's kind of like a negative energy I don't see that I have not seen that in any of the readings this is cutting the negative energy out cutting the negative energy out you're going to have to come out of your shell at some point cancer your person's going to have to balance whatever and put their burdens down too so at some point you two can come together and 
there's there are lessons for both of you to learn here about yourself, about love, whatever the case may be. You have to come out. That wheel is not in your shell. That wheel is on the out, on the out, on the outside. In order to win, you have to spin. You can't just peek out from your shell and look at the wheel and go, "Mm mm-hmm, spirit, can you bring love? Spirit, something, you got to come out here. You got to do some of the work. I'm going to do it all for you. Come on out. You know, this is fate. You get, you have, you have input on your fate and destiny. Oh, shit. Okay, let's wrap it up, people. Um, But you need to cut something out and you need to come out of your shell. All right. That means it's time for, it's time for Oracle Car Cancer. All right, Cancers. I'm just going to say it one more time, and then we'll move on to the oracles here while I'm sh- while I'm shuffling. I'm going to have an oracle card here, please. Spirit animal oracle card for cancers. My beautiful cancers, my fellow Cancidians. My little crabbies. Um, you got to look for the rainbow in order to find the pot of gold. You know, the clouds may still be there. The rain may still be falling. I don't know what the hell's happening with the cats here. But, um, well, okay. It's, all my cards are falling. Damn it. I don't like that. Okay. We have the chameleon spirit. How nice. Oh, I love this. This came out, I think, in someone else's reading. I think it was chameleon. Maybe it wasn't. Card number 14. Now, in numerology, 14 is card number 5. I mean, it's 5. Well, there are going to be some changes and some challenges here, Cancer. I never said if you came out of your shell, it's going to be easy. I don't say that. But it's the chameleon spirit is act as if. Act as if everything is going to be just fine. Don't even think about what could happen what has happened, just live in the here and now, you know, dance to the beat of your own drum, be your own little free spirit, and let's see what it says about act as if. What does spirit have to say for us cancers? Camellia spirit shares her gift with you today to prepare you for changes ha, that will greatly benefit you. Pay attention, cancers. Outer conditions are changing, and you're required to come into harmony with them so you can co-create your greatest dream. Look for the rainbow so you can find the pot of gold. Good. Oh, feeling sensitive? Good. Because that will come in handy, enabling you to determine how best to adapt to your environment and the people in it. How easy for us cancers to hide in our shells. It's hard for us sometimes to come out. Okay, uh, for the environment and the people in it, while at the same time maintaining your integrity and inner equilibrium. I know, not easy. Even if you feel like you're in uncharted territory, chameleon spirit has complete faith in your ability to fit in and learn the lay of the land, adapting as necessary. This is a fortunate time to act as if and do as others do until the new ways feel familiar and completely natural. Aha! Lifer is offering you a great lesson now. Aha! Did I say the Wheel of Fortune? Offering a great lesson. Over here. Or somewhere where the Wheel of Fortune went. Um, Adapting isn't about losing yourself. It's about learning how to dance with others. Come out and dance! Come out and dance with others. You can have happiness too, Cancer. And believe me, you know, I am exactly the same way. They're saying the chameleon spirit is to adapt. We are so used to when things don't go right or we're hurt or whatever. Whoosh, I do it. I do it. That's I'm very much a Cancer that way. I crawl into my shell. I retreat. I isolate, you know. And I'm very, I like being alone most of the time. But I do that, especially if I'm that in that sandpiper spirit. Be playful. Come out and be playful. Come out and be playful, Cancer. You can't see that rainbow inside the shell. It's dark in there, right? It's dark. You're going to be caught drowning in your emotions in your shell. And eventually your little shell is going to cry so much. The shell is going to be full of water. You have no choice but to come out. <laughs> Just get, get some air and, and breathe. All right, Cancers. I think that was the end of my last thing. I'm not sure. I can't remember now. Let me see. Yeah. Ooh, we're getting close here. All right, Cancers. That's what I have for you. In order to find the gold, look for the rainbow in order to find the gold. You have to look for the rainbow. All right, Cancers, thank you so much for tuning in. I don't want to be cut off. Um, Comment, subscribe, enjoy the tribe, hit the bell icon button, give me a thumbs up. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you all, all my subscribers. Um, Stay safe, stay positive, and stay strong, Cancers. Okay, stay strong. It's This is us, man. We can do this. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you in two weeks. Come to my daily reads. Come to Instagram for the live streams. All right. Love you all. Peace out.